Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have got one of the biggest icon SBCs coming today to FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. And yes, it is Ronaldinho. And yes, it is coming today. EA even confirmed it yesterday with part of the content that we had. So that is a big talking point. Ronaldinho's prime icon SBC today. I want to take a look at that, how it could impact the market and make especially some fodder prices move today. But also, it's La Liga team of the season Friday. We have got a full team of La Liga team of the season in packs today. Maybe another SBC for that and an objective. And we, of course, do have the official stats for basically the entire team that is going to be dropping in packs today because of the leaks and EA dropping those cards early on the game. That was still a crazy thing that happened yesterday. So we're going to look at all those confirmed stats and, of course, talk about how the market's going to be impacted by those cards today. And we might see one of the craziest store packs we've ever seen on FIFA this weekend. It guarantees some really high-level icons. There is a lot to talk about in today's video. So if you're excited for FIFA today, drop a thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's quickly look at yesterday, right? This is where we learned about what's actually going to be happening Today on Friday, inside of the brand new La Liga Tot Season Swaps, there is a section here for a prime Ronaldinho Icon SBC. The leaks are coming true. EA is confirming it right here. And we are going to be able to get XP today on FIFA for the Icon Ronaldinho Loan Challenge that's going to be released today. Now, of course, seeing this, we automatically assume that the regular SBC for the prime card, not the loan, is going to be um, released as well, right? They always release the Icon SBC and then a loan version and we get XP for doing the loan so can't wait to see a loan Ronaldinho and everybody's weekend league teams this weekend as well especially because there's XP tied to it but that really tells us that we are getting Ronaldinho today on Friday now it also tells us we're going to be getting Pushkas tomorrow on Saturday we'll talk about that more tomorrow and uh, some other stuff in here as well it's kind of the normal tot season swaps in here right to get the upgrade pack SPC foot moments marquee matchups by the way marquee matchups right now check your clubs for Premier League center attacking mids that are above 79 rated and also check for Manchester City players because Manchester City players are selling for like five to 6,000 coins. They're going to go down today with lightning rounds. I would sell those cards. Check your clubs. That was yesterday's content. Pretty slow day. We did have a player of the month, Daniel Malin, SBC, that was released as well. Not bad value, but Bundesliga is on the out and La Liga is on the in. And with La Liga being on the in, let's take a look at the big SBC for today. Prime Ronaldinho, right? It really comes down to today on this game. How expensive is this SBC going to be? His prime card is down so much in value, right? We know we've looked at it. This card was 5.8 million coins. And was this price a bit inflated because the team of the year icon is, um, you know, extinct at 15 million coins? That could definitely be why this prime Ronaldinho was still so high. But the fact that he's down almost 2 million coins now, over 2 million coins in the past two weeks from where he is, I'm so curious to see where EA priced this SBC today, especially because fodder is still very cheap, right? 88s are 16,000 coins. Usually these cards, as we see all year, are like 20 to 30,000 coins. Fodder has been so low since the start of the team of the season. It's going to be a lot of squads today. It's going to probably look like a crazy long long SBC with so many different squads inside of it. And I think this SBC is going to come in around three and a half million coins. I think that's a fair estimate. I would love it if it's cheaper, but I just don't see this SBC for this high caliber of an icon card in this game being cheap. I think they're going to make you have to pay out for a little bit, uh, pay out a lot of it actually for this SBC. But again, this is a player that a lot of people are just going to want to do. People are going to mud their clubs today specifically to get this card done as fast as possible because this is kind of like an end game icon for so many people. And that's why there's a lot of hype for this SBC today. So it's going to impact the market a lot. I'm not trying to mess with any of the left wings, especially on the top tier of this game. Guys like Vinny Jr. I know he's getting a TOTS card today. Some of those other cards, I'd be very careful of your top tier over a million coin, maybe even over 500,000 coin left wings on this game, because this is going to be a card that so many people will start crafting today, try to get done in the next week or two, or maybe some people will full send it and try to get the Ronaldinho done today on this game. Now, let's take a look at fodder because some of you guys may be like, Nate, can I make a last minute investment? I would say a lot of these cards are up enough. I don't know how much more they're going to go up because remember still, we are getting new TOTS cards in packs today 
and on Sunday, which is going to bring some more high rated fodder to the market. As you see, a lot of the cheapest 90, 91, 92 rated cards are these team of the season cards. And that has what that is what has drug fodder down so much lower than it usually has been, right? We know 91s being 30,000 coins. These guys are usually like 50 to 60K, but since TOTS has started, they have literally halved in price. Some of these cards I still think have a chance to go up. 88s to 89s, there's going to be a lot of those required most likely for probably like the 90, 91, maybe even a 92 rated squad requirement inside of this Ronaldinho SBC to make it a bit more expensive. Maybe they do something crazy today as well and like require an icon. I, I couldn't see them doing that. They haven't done that in a couple of years on FIFA, but it's probably just going to require a lot of high rated squads and that way EA can drain a lot of coins from this market. And of course, a lot of people uh, will have to go and buy these cards off the market to get this SBC done. So I think this fodder can go up. I'm not going all in on an investment for it because also, like we said, I think some people are going to see this Ronaldinho and be like, okay, I don't have three and a half million coins or I can get this SBC done today, but they'll be crafting it over time. And it's pretty easy to get fodder during team of the season with all the team of the season cards out there. So I think fodder can rise some today. I don't think it's going to go like absolutely crazy, but I think that it can go up some as well. Now on the topic of SBCs and icons, speaking of another icon SBC, it's going to be refreshing today. The 90 plus uh, icon SBC that we had last Sunday is going to be refreshing today as well. 90 plus icon upgrade containing 84, 86, and an 87 rated squad inside of it. So that's another reason to watch out for maybe some of your 85, 86, 87 rated cards. Fodder is going to be really in demand today, whether it's this SBC, the Ronaldinho, if we get another Tots SBC for La Liga. It's a big day in the SBC section, and that could impact some of the rest of the market. But I'm so curious to see how EA priced that Ronaldinho SBC today. And even the low tier, right? We have to do the loan version to get the XP. A lot of people are going to be doing the loan version today. We can't forget about that. That's probably going to make some demand uh, for the low rated cards like 82s, 83s, and 84s that'll be required for this. But also, those are going to get packed the most from the lightning rounds when we are going to be seeing La Liga Tots cards dropped in packs today. A lot of people are going to be opening packs for that. Let's talk about La Liga Tots. Let's move on, turn the page, because we do have the list of players, right? All of these players, we know the entire stats for each of their cards for besides Benzema. For Benzema, all we know is the loading screen stats, and I'll look at that in a second. But the 99 shooting on Lewandowski, the 99 pace, or sorry, 99 passing and dribbling on Modric. Now, Benzema is on the loading screen, we believe, with five-star skill moves, 96 shooting, and 94 physical, which if you compare that to his Team of the Year card, that is actually minus one shooting, but plus four physical and a five-star skill move boost. So he's probably not going to be 5'5". Five, five. He'll probably be five-star, four-star, but have higher physical, less shooting. And with that higher physical boost, maybe what EA is doing is making this Benzema card lengthy. I could see them actually reducing the agility down three so that he could be 85 agility and then he could be a lengthy Benzema with five-star skills. They did that basically with the Ronaldo team of the season card that is out in packs right now as well, right? They kept his agility and his, uh, well, his agility low enough, right? Right at 85 so that he could still be lengthy on an architect. Maybe EA is trying to do that right now to keep some cards lengthy. It's just kind of the same thing they did with the uh, KDB during the Premier League tots is they didn't make him above his rating of the team of the year. They kept him the same and just kind of adjusted the stats around so that it would be a different card. So Benzema, I'm super curious to see how he's going to look today. Vinny Jr. is going to have 5-star, five 5-star five with 99 pace. Pedri's going to be 5-star, five 5-star five as well with a really good card. You've got Griezmann who's going to be hyped today. Eder Militao, we know his stats. I'll show you that in a second. Ter Stegen, Marino looks cracked. Koundé looks really, really good. Valverde looks insane. Balde looks great for a cheap card. Viega looks good. Molina looks good. Like this Tots team today, guys, looks really, really, really exciting. And it's juiced just like the Bundesliga team of the season was last week. And we know how that impacted the market last week as well. So we're going to have to keep that in mind for today on this game. Now, I do want to take a quick look 
at the card for, um, as I said, the Eder Militao. Here are his official stats. He is above the team of the year, plus one over the team of the year. So maybe like we saw with Jude Bellingham last week, the team of the year is for Modric, for Benzema, and for Militao. Maybe have a little bit of a rise, just depending on how the rest of the content goes on today's game, because the new cards are probably going to start out very expensive, right? That's what we saw last week with Bundesliga. I think these cards are going to be the exact same way. They're probably going to start very rare and very expensive with very high high price ranges on this market today, which means probably they won't be good to buy until a couple hours after the promo, especially as we get to the start of the weekend league. A couple of their prices could fluctuate up then, but these card prices are most likely going to start very high and be dropping for most of the day today on Friday. So just be very careful if you're trying to try one of those or two out for weekend league today. They're going to start expensive and then drop after that. Now, like I said, we don't know about any other SBCs besides Ronaldinho today and the icon refreshing. There is a leak for a Rafinha team of the season player. Now, I haven't seen anybody else post about this. And honestly, if I was EA, enough hype is going to be drawn by the Ronaldinho SBC if that's dropping today, uh, that this may not have to be dropped. So I would just keep a very close eye on what other leaks we have today. If this is going to drop as well, it would be a mental day of content. Imagine this SBC, a Ronaldinho SBC, an Icon SBC. Fodder might go crazy if that were to happen um, because this would be just a crazy, crazy day of content. And that would definitely impact a lot of the cards that are on this market. Now for the objective, we really have no idea. There was a Castellanos, um, the guy that scored four goals on Real Madrid. You might remember him, former MLS player. He might be the objective player, but that's just kind of a long shot guess at this time. So we'll probably get an objective player today. We just don't know exactly who. Now, let's talk about the market. With all of this going down, we're talking a lot about SBCs. We got to be worried about some of these cards on the market, right? If we're going to have a huge SBC today, it's going to drain a lot of coins from the market. Is that going to hurt prices of maybe some of these team of the season cards that are going out of packs? Alfonso Davies, some of these Bundes Tots cards are starting to go up in price a little bit, right? Davies is above 300k. Frimpong is above 200,000 coins. Um, Diaby, actually, for any of you guys that bought this card since Leverkusen did not advance to the final of the Europa League. Look at Musa Diaby, 550,000 coins right now. He's up like 50,000 coins from where he was because his card is no longer getting upgraded. The SBC version is no longer getting upgraded. All the other cards like Tammy Abraham, Lamella, Calvin Phillips, and Barella, those guys are going to be getting five-star weak foot upgrades today on this game. Sometime today, you will see this guy go to five-star weak foot, right? That's how all these cards are getting upgraded. There's no stat boost. He's not going up in rating at all. It is solely a five-star weak foot boost for Phillips, for Barella, for Tammy Abraham and Lamella. I think those are all the cards that are getting upgraded today on this game. Those four right there. But since Diaby is no longer alive, right? He's not going to get any upgrades. His lower rated SBC, the 91 rated, is now just going to have better traits and um, not the five-star skills like this card has. So people are going out and buying this card. But for the other Bundesliga Tots cards, I'm a little bit worrisome for some of these prices today because just like we saw last week as we got... Um, the Bundesliga team of the season, the new Bundesliga cards dropped and people started selling the Prem cards because the SBC for Royce was crazy and the new Bundesliga cards were cracked and everybody wanted to try out those cards. So could that same scenario happen today and throughout this weekend? I think it's very possible because La Liga, in my opinion, is maybe even more hyped than Bundesliga was, even though the cards last week were really insane. Uh, it really comes down to the SBC content today and yes, the prices of the brand new cards, but I would be careful unless you're just buying a Bundesliga card for your team. You don't care about losing coins and you just want to use it this weekend in the weekend league. Um, that's fine. But I do think that some of these cards, especially like Delict, I mean, we're getting a Militao today who is probably going to be around the same price as this Delict, maybe a little bit more because of day one rarity, but his team of the year card is 930, 940,000 coins. And his new one today is going to be even better than this one's going to be 95 rated with better stats. So you can imagine that card's going to be a lot more expensive too. So I'm just a little bit worried about some of those Bundesliga Tots cards today. And of course, your Saudi League Tots cards are in packs. So if you have uh, the Ronaldo, I even think this Ronaldo card is going to drop off today. He's already down a little bit. 
hit 8.8 .8 mil. Um, but like a Romarino or an Anderson Talisca, these guys are still in packs. If you need a reminder of how these guys' prices are going to be impacted today, go take a look at the EFL Tots cards and how much they dropped last week heading into Friday. There will be a lot of panic selling this morning on those um, cards from the Saudi League, and they'll drop with supply today. So be very, very careful with those. And then La Liga specials. A lot of you guys maybe have invested in players for the La Liga Cup, right? That's a common piece of content that we've been seeing every single Friday is a cup with the brand new league in focus. And a lot of these cards, like this Usman Dembele, is up 50, 60,000 coins. I'm going to take the safe route today on a lot of these. On my transfer list, I have an Eden Hazard um, and a couple of four lines. I bought Eden Hazard at 180,000 coins. He's right now at 220K. And, uh, you know, I like taking the safe coins here today on these. I know a lot of Bundesliga specials rose really well last week, but I think the reason those rose really well was because you had a great value SBC with Marco Royce. And I think today, if we have a Ronaldinho SBC but nothing else, that might not mean as good of a rise for some of those um, La Liga special cards that people would be buying and linking to go use in the cup or to use in the weekend league. So, you know, some cards today, here's one I've been talking about all week that I think is going to be dropping today. Team of the Year Courtois. I know it's Team of the Year, but the new Ter Stegen that drops on this game today is probably going to be less than 100,000 coins right away. And I think that's going to make this Courtois card drop down in value as a La Liga keeper. So just be careful with a guy like this. I'm going to be careful with some of my other La Liga special cards. Um, I still have a Trophy Titans for Lan that I bought at uh, 180,000 coins as well. I think he's now like 220, maybe 200. Okay, he's 210 at the moment, but he's been 220, 230. You know, a card like this, I may be a little bit more inclined to hold just because he's a hero card and he's going to link to all La Liga specials. But I'm going to be very careful with the market today because it just feels like it could be a day where a lot of people want to go and do SBCs if we were to get Ronaldinho and the Rafinha and the Icon SBC. It might be a big day of coin drain. So I'm expecting kind of a tumultuous day on the market to say the least. And uh, again, the one thing I'll say is if you're trading with cards today, the best time to sell a lot of special cards, whether it's the TOTS cards or maybe something that you're investing in for a rise for Weekend League, right? Weekend League, again, just like every other week, is starting two hours after the content drop. The best time to sell a lot of cards is in that time frame. Once the Weekend League has started, and maybe even an hour or so after that, that's usually a peak time where you see a lot of cards that people are going out and purchasing for their teams hit a really high price and that is a good time to sell in the past couple of weeks i'm also keeping an eye just a little bit on some of these team of the years like modric like militao and benzema because they've got cards coming out today that are higher rated and if they start very very expensive especially with benzema being such a weird situation with his new card gonna have five star skills but this one having the five star weak foot and being a team of the year so they're very rare you guys remember what jude bellingham did last week he really exploded in the early hours after people saw the rating of the new Jude Bellingham card and how expensive it was, right? So I'm keeping an eye on all of these today. If they go lower this morning, I might get interested for a quick flip potential there um, because they're still some of the best cards of the game as team of the year. So it's going to be a crazy Friday day today on this game. And I haven't even talked about the pack code, guys. We got to look at this pack code and we have to take a look at this because this could also change the market on a moment's notice today. And what I want to tell you guys too is start to think about icons a bit more because if EA are dropping daily icon SBCs throughout this whole next week, they're dropping icon packs in the store. They're kind of pushing the icon area, right? Icons have been kind of quiet the past couple of weeks. We haven't had many icon SBCs apart from the upgrade pack that we had last Sunday, which we had been wanting for a long time. But Icon player species, we have not had much of. It seems like they're pushing the icon agenda in this next week on this game. Look at this pack. Elite Icon Cheer Pack contains one Team of the Year, Foot Birthday, or World Cup Icon Player rated 90 or higher, in addition to 50 Rare Gold Players, 81 or higher. And then you've got a couple of lone player picks in there as well. 50 gold rare players, 81 or higher, with a team of the year icon, foot birthday, or world. that's going to be, this might be the most expensive pack we have seen in the store yet this year. Maybe the 600k pack comes out today. It might be 4,000 fewer points. 
who knows but they never make packs with icons in them cheap and this gives you top tier icons and 50 gold rares 81 that's crazy man that is an absolutely outrageous pack so that might not drop today it could but it might not drop until tomorrow on saturday maybe even into sunday we'll have to see there's another one in here called the Icon Cheer Pack, which gives you a prime or mid. And then you've got 20 rare gold players. All of these are untradeable, by the way. If they were to drop a player like that tradable or a pack like that tradable, that would just destroy the market. But you've got a couple other store packs in here, right? Like the La Liga Essentials Pack, uh, 10 rare golds from La Liga, 184 plus with your loan player picks inside of there. A lot of people like to open those to get some La Liga cards just to try out. The Starter Pack, which is three rare golds from La Liga. And the Foundations Pack, which is 25 rare golds specifically from La Liga again so a lot of store packs are going to be on display today but again just I'm kind of thinking outside the box here um, with icons being pushed as much as they have been pushed and they have not been for a while I'm also thinking about foot draft foot draft has not been pushed with objectives in a couple of weeks I could see something soon in this game that is extra objectives and packs for playing in foot draft Maybe they drop the um, they increase the drop weight of like trophy titans, foot birthday, team of the year icons, so that there's a lot of icons popping in foot draft. That's something they've done commonly in the past couple of years. Um, I think they did a couple times last year, maybe even once already this year. I think there could be something brewing with foot draft, some hype there, some extra objectives, and then EA making the drafts more fun by boosting the the weight of the icons inside of this foot draft pick. So that's just kind of a I guess you could say a theory that I have for today, but it could be coming and just it looks like with the hype of the icons and everything going on there could be just some added extra potential there with the icons in this game so that's kind of what's going on today in this game it's going to be an absolutely wild day club stock fodder if you want to if you want to make some investments today I'm probably going to be waiting until the content drop to see what cards come out. And I want to see the price of that Ronaldinho and if we get any other SPCs. That to me is going to be the biggest variable of today's content. The Ronaldinho price, the loan price as well, because a lot of people are going to be doing that. And then uh, whatever other SPCs we get and how expensive these new TOTS cards are come on the market today so it's going to be a crazy day of fifa if you're coming to drop uh, drop into the content drop and you want to see what drops today pop into the twitch stream link down below in the description we'll be live streaming it all hanging out having some fun opening some packs and uh make trying to make some coins as well because we lost some coins this week we got to make some back trading has been really really good on the weekends hopefully that continues this weekend so if you enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it's been nate foot account see you guys in the stream today peace